Hey everybody, David Likens here. I want to do a quick video on this brand new uh, design Paddle King Low Pro Angler. Uh, probably one of my favorite colors here. This is actually called Champagne and Sky Blue. Uh, and out in the sun, this thing really pops. Uh, but anyway, this is one of our uh, boat show boats for the St. Louis show, the 2019 St. Louis Boat Show. Uh, the boat itself is actually only 13 feet 3 inches long. Uh, only weighs 660 pounds total uh, now obviously as you add the, a motor and other things like that it does uh, ramp up but this one uh, the way we built this one's pretty simple uh, almost perfect for that for that fishing guy or couple or you know two to three guys but this boat does seat four um, I'll show you a couple features as I just do a walk around here the trailer is optional uh, for 2019 uh, they did add radial tires uh, to the trailer, which makes it a uh, trailer obviously up and down the road a lot nicer. Um, there is an optional spare tire, which if you do get the trailer, uh, we put them on every one of ours. Uh, we also added this fold away uh, tongue feature here, which is nice because it'll save you a little over two feet of space in your garage front to rear. Um, the boat does come standard with these navigational lights front and rear, uh, standard live well inside, which I'll show you in a minute, standard bimini top and mooring cover all standard uh, now we come in and we add uh, stainless steel uh, boat cleats with stainless steel bolts not screws so it's definitely not going to go anywhere um, as we walk around the boat here uh, one feature that we added for this boat which is going to be pretty cool uh, are green led pods underneath there that are spots so basically if you're fishing in the evening and at night uh, the green light actually helps attract fish uh, as you're fishing so walking around, like I said, this is a brand new, cool, pretty retro design boat uh, that they came up with for the 2019 year. Uh, this one, we actually put, uh, this is brand new for Tahatsu this year. Uh, the white's not new, but it is for these smaller motors. So we actually put a 20 horse uh, fuel injected uh, motor on here. And for a boat that only weighs 660 pounds, uh, this thing actually moves pretty well. So the, the one thing about the Angler is you don't have to get the steering console in it. They actually make one designed with a tiller handle. Uh, it does reduce your horsepower limitations. So keep that in mind and make sure you look at the information uh, on that as well. So one other feature here, this is your live well pump, uh, submerged in the water all times and protected there. As you can see, it's a real convenient place to mount your, your sonar for your fish finder. Uh, Another Paddle King feature is uh, this is a good place for the top to be whenever you're rolling around on the lake, but obviously for travel and storage, we actually added the uh, hinge pin mount here. So actually what it does is it goes from that location and goes to here, pins in so that way your storage height's under six foot on the trailer, which is pretty amazing. So I'm going to climb up here on the boat, so bear with me. Got a new latch design for this year, it's pretty nice and convenient. Uh, so we're going to hop up in the boat and then on this one uh, you've got a standard live well on your port side here with a with a seat pad drain tube adjustable fill nozzle you do get a pair of boat uh sorry fishing rod holders with cup holders there all in one on your front port and starboard side you see there uh, on this one this is an option too uh, it's an optional storage box with the, the cushion seat pad on top. Uh, there's your standard mooring cover and two poles that's required for this one. As you can see, it's got a nice, real easy, clean layout. Uh, we mounted our Lorenz Fish Finder Depth Finder here. Uh, again, nice matching color bimini top with boot there. Um, nice flat area to, to lay out your fish for measuring they already got up to 25 inches there mapped out the rear seats actually flip up where we mounted your fuel cell fire extinguisher 27 series battery in case you want to add a an additional trolling motor or anything like that then on your behind your under your helm seat we actually put the two bank uh, Minn Kota digital charger again interstate batteries uh, for the running battery and then at the helm here, nice, simple, clean uh, look. We've got installed the electric horn that we've put in, uh, rocker switch for the dome, for the lights below that lights up green. And then standard here are your switches for your 
navigational lights, mooring light, and live well pump. So it's a super simple, clean look. Uh, again, the, the deck area is seven foot wide on this, so you got a lot of space. Uh, the, you can get a what's called a removable seat and kind of place anywhere in the central area of the boat here for fishing. So keep in mind, uh, all the boats we do are custom one-offs for everybody that orders them. So if you don't want a 20 horse or you want a 10 horse, that's fine. Um, and Cody E-Drive works great on this boat too. Or, or no motor at all. Like I said, we uh, we build them specifically for you. If we happen to have one in stock that's exactly what you like, great. Uh, but if there's something that you like, just keep in mind we do custom build all of our boats and ship uh, anywhere in the United States for you guys. So if you like the video or there's something else you'd like to see that I've missed, please make a comment below. Uh, all of our contact name and information and the build on this uh, will be below as well. So again, my name is David Likens, and uh, if you like the video, please feel free to subscribe and like us. And uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, please give us a call. Uh, all of our information is below. Thanks again for watching.